Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Prospects and Show 101. My name is Chris, and today I'm going to be taking you guys through some CD Lamb tape. So he is a third year junior from Oklahoma, plays wide receiver, like a lot of the other guys that we've taken a look at so far this year. Uh, he is listed unofficially, of course, as it is only July, uh, at 6'1", 189, so a little bit on the smaller side in terms of weight. Uh, probably want to see him get close to, well, not necessarily 225, like Chanel, but 200 maybe is pretty fair, to maybe 210, 205, DPJ's at 205. Uh, so, somewhere in that range would probably be a little bit more ideal, but he has lots of time to add on weight, and we'll see him again in Indy and everything else down the line in March. So, uh, for today at least, we're going to be taking a look at some of his 2018 tape. Of course, uh, as I've already mentioned, it is only July, uh, so we don't have 2019 tape yet, but I'm actually really enjoying getting a head start on this class, adding some preseason type of uh, ideas and, and little notes on guys I kind of want to pay attention to uh, going into the season. And I'm hopeful that CD is one of those guys. He's been pretty highly touted uh, by a lot of the gurus out there uh, from like TDN and everything else like that. So he's someone I've been looking forward to watching, uh, especially since I've gotten onto my receiver binge last year. Uh, and I'm hopeful that he can kind of put himself into the top group with guys like Chanel and Wallace who we've already seen so far. So, with that being said, uh, let's take a look at, first I have the West Virginia game pulled up, and uh, hopefully he does some pretty good things here. He is number two, uh, same number as Hedlund and Lewiska as well. And if I'm actually going to turn this up. Two. Get 360. Okay, nice angle in the block. Bottom of the screen. Nice outside release. Another thing to keep in mind is he does have, ooh, that's a nice, ooh, nice finish on the block, too. Uh, he does have Kyler Murray as his quarterback, so unlike the other two guys that we've, uh, three guys, I shouldn't even say, that we've watched, uh, he has a very, well, outside of that throw, a very good quarterback throwing to him. Put by Kyler, Marquise Hollywood Brown. Nice round cut on the uh, outside, outside leverage there. Vertical stem concept. Oh, the mic might come back actually. Another vertical stem concept. Okay, nail slot here. Another vertical stem concept. Nice catching bounds. Great job keeping the speed down. Looked like another vertical esque. Route stem. Drag. Mm, 
another one of those rounded outs like that. Oh, nice rack move there. Making some people miss. So, he really seemed to be running this play a lot with him uh, on that left side. And he's just doing a really nice job of taking advantage of the corner's leverage inside and making this corner here do a spin cycle. And he creates a ton of separate, like, honestly, if you think about it, it doesn't really look like that flashy of a play because it's not like a super hard cut. Like some of these guys, like a Thailand, they'll make like this really uh, tight, hard, hard cut. And with Lamb, he doesn't really do that. It almost looks a little bit more effortless in a way. And he just kind of rounds it off on a, round, on a nice round cut, which is designed in that particular play. Uh, and honestly, it creates a ton of separation with it. This time, just gently moving over and uh, giving Kyler a little bit more room to run in the middle of the field. Oh, nice release off the line. I really like how he was aggressive in taking that space. I've already talked about this with a few of the other guys in this class. But when you give him that space, you really want to see him be aggressive and take it. And boom, right there, he sees the corner blick, so he just bursts right off the line. And that time, he was a little bit more patient with the release. Uh, reading the defensive back very nicely there. And interesting concept. I think they probably wanted him to get a little bit deeper uh, to hit the first down marker. But I really like the premise of the oh, I really like the premise of this play because he's a little bit whoops. At time I didn't pause. Uh, he's a little bit more patient with his this release, and you'll see him here. He takes almost a stutter step, and this defender is basically playing a vertical stem. But he just casually walks this first step and takes advantage of that that opening space underneath. And he also decides sits perfectly right in between the two defenders as well. So really nice zone IQ awareness on that particular play from C D as well. Nice burst. You got really get to see some of the explosion. Oh, nice physicality with a block. Nice outside release. He's doing a really... Oh, that was a nice play call. Uh, he's doing a really nice job so far of winning at the line of scrimmage. And he's not necessarily beating guys, blowing by guys or anything like that off the line. He can... But he's doing it with hand usage, he's doing it with his hands and his feet, he's doing it uh, in just the most efficient way possible, and it's really nice to see him, uh, oh man, it's really nice to see him be so effective with his variants of release moves. That may have hit the ground. Nope, he got under it. Nice dive, slide catch, dive catch, whatever you want to call it. So that was the first game that was versus West Virginia. And overall, we got to see a lot of the things that people really like in this class about, or in the in the draft sphere, uh, about C.D. Lamb in this class. Uh, Overall, you really get to see some of the athletic abilities shine. Uh, and again, West Virginia, not really the best defense of all time. I mean, they're actually pretty underrated. They're not bad for a Pac-12 or for a Big 12 team. But uh, they're not like Alabama or anything. Uh, and he actually looked like he was really doing a nice job of, of utilizing his variance of tools. So overall, a really nice game from C.D. Lamb there. And uh, let's hope that he can continue that against uh, even better defense in Alabama.
I really like his feel for his route. And this isn't something that you really think about when watching a game very often. But I really like the way that he just kind of... I don't want to say casually adjust because I don't really know if he's adjusting this route all that much. But the way that he's just able to find uh, that distance between him and his other receivers and not really um, double place, I, I guess. It's kind of hard to think of a word. But basically what I'm trying to say is I like how he doesn't end up creating two, a two guys in one spot situation. Right, like, because this defender here, he's basically stuck on either coming up for CD for C. Lamb or moving over to defend this this receiver here. He's not really able to guard both of those guys. He's almost kind of guarding neither of them at the moment. And then he ends up bursting when he ends up stopping. So it's just a really nice feel for, I want to say, space, uh, but more so the play design and, and the playbook. Screen. Oh man. Oh, nice catch. All right, tight end. Nice angle. Great concept. Vertical stem. Nice body control. Great job adjusting the pass. And this is something that we're seeing from a lot of these receivers this year, which is really, really cool to see. The way he's able to turn his head very early on to not give away ball position. Then just, I'm actually going to slow this down. Uh, and the body control. The ability to track the ball in, control the body through the process of the catch. Bam, gets the scenes up. And then completes the process. Just really, really smooth in his uh, catching ability, which is really nice. He's not making things look too difficult. Oh, man. Whoa. Um, Jeez, he just completely took out number 30. Is that a linebacker? 30 has to be a linebacker, right? Dang. Okay. Um, <laughs> so, uh, as a Lions fan... For those of you guys who are new to the channel, um, one thing that we really value in receivers is blocking ability. And um, I can tell this is, this is, ah, that this is going to be a guy that Robert Prince falls in love with very, very, very quickly. Um, that physicality is unmatched in this class. And, uh, oh my goodness. Not many receivers, if any receivers, are laying blocks like that. In college, in the pros, anywhere. Ooh, man. Okay. And then he can go in and make a play like this, right? Finesse play right on the boundary. Boom. Sick cat. Now, I probably would like to see a little bit more hand than body there. Uh, he at least pulls it down, so I'm not going to say too much, but there's not one, but two feet down in bounds. Clear control. Really nice job maintaining possession. Great footwork. Love to see it. Tab of the screen, red zone. Okay. C route? Am 
Ouais, il est pas mal. No shot with swinging the defenders, the secondary there. Nice inside release move. Again with a nice inside release move. He's doing a really nice job of being number two inside. Oh, another nice block. Another nice inside release move. I like how he sold that screen. No, he got him outside. Oh, man. Okay, that was very nice. So, we talked about his ability to bury releases. And, oh, man. So, after winning inside, inside, inside the last five or so plays, he comes right back at number two here and completely switches him. He starts out with that inside and then, bam, just swims right over the top of him. And wins on that outside release route. Release route. Wow. All right. Great play call variation as well helps with that. But man, should be over there. Oh, he's just throwing the screen. Okay. Nice slot. Oh, nice. Nice inside slant route. Oh, you gotta catch that somehow. I don't know if that went off his hands. Oh, that was, that was a pretty bad throw. That's what that was. Uh, off ball placement there from Kyler. So what I will point out here is the quick cut, right? We talked about how he was able to round his cuts on those outs earlier in the last game. This play here, bam! Limited, wasted motion, very efficient with the foot. Bam, and one step cut, clean. Really, really smooth and quick. It sells that really, really nicely. And especially in the red zone. Okay, got to see a little bit of that rack ability there. More of that burst, that explosiveness. Nice inside slant route. Beautiful. Nice quick and easy play there. Boom. Nice. Oh. So smooth. Oh man, he got off the line quick. Vertical step, and there he, oh, that was 14 though. Nice play by 14, whoever that was. Sells the screen. Oh man, God, catch that. Slot player here on the left side. Oh, that was a really nice concept, first off. But really nicely executed as well by Kyler on the read, and CD just takes the space. That's a nice concept against Bama. Just sees the blitzer and attacks. Nice. Nice outside release move. Good defense though. That was really nice coverage. Oh man, not there. Uh, that was really nice coverage by the defender to oops. The defender to force that boundary marker. 
And see, there's gives CD Lamb no space to get in bounds. On the other hand, on this play, CD with a just excellent quick cut underneath, and he creates two or three yards separation and gets yards after contact. Right there. Oh, got a little bit of a push off. I don't think they're going to call that, especially if they didn't see it. Uh, but nice job creating separation with the arms and the legs as well. It was a really nice stop cut. Nice use of angle there on the block. Really, really nice blocking so far, both physicality effort wise and in terms of utilization, the angle. Oh, that was a nice contested catch. Oh, okay. Nice little starter cut here. Right here. Kind of sells that inside slant, but then reverses and takes him outside on the fade. I really, really like when receivers use that inside out fade because you kind of get yourself a little bit more separation on the boundary. And it just leaves the corner a step behind. Nice back shoulder throw by Kyler Hub too. Touchdown. So yeah, overall, another really nice game from CD Lamb. Uh, and you got to see those inside and outside releases, which is really, really cool. Uh, definitely love guys who can vary up uh, their abilities. So, one more game to check out here. Uh, this time we're going to take a look at the UCLA game. Drag route. Nice person explosive this after the catch. But what's really interesting is uh, we've seen him utilized at all three levels so far. We've seen him utilized on these drag routes underneath. We've seen him utilized on the curls, the outs, uh, and things of that nature. Uh, in the intermediate portion of the field, and then of course you've seen him quite often on the vertical stems. So that's really nice to see as well. Just runs right past it. Linebacker. Nice play design concept. Lincoln Riley. Giving him a lot of space on this play. And already done. Same thing. Yep. Giving him way too much space. Fortunately for UCLA, they were able to close. But yeah, if you give C D Lamb ten yards of space, he's he's gonna make a play. What is that? At least five yards. Yeah, they're giving them over five, between five and ten yards at the line, and that's about eight yards or so, roughly, of space. I like how he adjusted his uh, route path there to be able to slip through and avoid the defenders. Same thing, just really nice job of avoiding the defenders. Nice physicality with the blocking. Top of the screen. They're giving him a tongue. Of, oh, that was a nice cut on the comeback. At the top of the rope. Another, oh, okay. 
Oh, he came down with it. Nice. So, originally, uh, this looks like at this point in the play here, actually, this is kind of bad for this stuff. I'm going to back a little bit so we can kind of show off more of it. But he he runs that little rounded in again that we've already seen a few times uh, in the other two games. With the defender giving him some space, but the defender actually doesn't really do all that bad of a job in, in recovering. But then CD takes this upfield. And for what that route ended up being a double move, the defender actually did not really do all that bad of a job in staying with him. Uh, but yeah, you are not stopping CD Lamb in a one on one like that down the field. Oh man. Almost got through that. Nice underneath in the mid, mid uh, intermediate field use there. And rip. I may have to turn the call. Oh wow, it's only in two forty. Jeez. Oh, okay, so while I'm waiting for this to load, we might have to stop here. Oh, well. Uh, but overall, so far, what we're seeing from C.D. Lamb uh, throughout the course of the three games is he does seem to be doing a really nice job of utilizing those inside-out release moves. Uh, and you know, we just saw a double move. His route running has is, is been really, really solid so far. Uh, I like how he's able to round and hard cut. Uh, showing off in versatility and his ability to uh, adapt on that end as well. Um, so that's really cool. Uh, and overall, just showing off a lot of versatility. Uh, his blocking, he doesn't have to come out on, on uh, short yarded situations for run plays. Uh, things like that, like that. You can honestly, you can probably put him in the slot and utilize him as a slot blocker. Uh, similar to what the Lions did with Kenny Galladay last year. So there's a lot of things that you can do with him uh, that will really attract him to team or attract teams to him uh, as the season continues to progress. And uh, Lincoln Riley does a really nice job of, and his offensive staff does a really nice job with uh, him of really showing off his full complete skill set. So. Uh, overall, I'm a fan of his. I really liked what I saw through those two and a little bit more than that games. Uh, unfortunately, it does look like we are going to have to stop here because uh, that doesn't seem to want to load. But uh, still, we got through a couple of games and obviously there'll be a lot more throughout the next eight to ten months. So uh, we'll get more chances to look at him uh, in the future. But uh, for today, that was a really nice quick look at uh, CD and what he's going to be able to do for Oklahoma next year. And honestly, there's a lot of things that he does really, really well. Uh, it's, I'm going to be giving him a lot of 8s and 9s, similar to what I did with LaVisca. He kind of doesn't really have a lot of 10s because he's not really perfect in that one area other than the blocking. Uh, but you really like to see a lot of what he can do. Uh, so... It'll be really interesting to see uh, if he can get any better at some of those little tiny things like creating the separation down the field on the vertical stems uh, and kind of showing off his, his run at, of course, we only see two and a half games, but kind of showing off his run after catch ability a little bit more uh, than we did because it seemed like he almost kind of got caught in pursuit. I don't want to say he got caught in pursuit from behind because he didn't get caught from behind, but... Uh, in terms of angles and reading defenders and and after the catch, I guess. It's, it's kind of hard to explain what I'm looking for. But I want to see a little bit more uh, after the catch from him and what he's going to be able to do in terms of making people miss, I guess, might be the best way to phrase it. And, and kind of getting defenders off their feet. I want to see more running back traits, <laughs> kind of. Like... Uh, I want to see some moves. I want to see some 
some uh, ability to make people miss, I guess is going to be the simplest way I can put it. Uh, but overall, I love the physicality. I like the hard cut, the soft cut, the ability to mix mix and match. And overall, there's he's going to do really, really good things for Oklahoma next year. It'll be a big part of their offense. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed watching some CD Lamb early on this year. But uh, that'll do it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, everything like that. But most importantly, subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you don't miss out on the next CD Lamb breakdown we do of his 2019 tape, as well as some of the other guys we'll be covering over the next 8 to 10 months. Uh, so, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one, and, uh, yeah, we'll see you guys soon. Hope you guys have had a great day so far. Have a fantastic rest of your day, but for now, peace out.